All right, welcome back to Wolf Dog Empire. May 2023. Calendar, we have, uh, what, Contest of Elements Purple, May 22 through May 25. So I kind of wanted to talk about that because uh, I know we have a lot of subscribers who have been playing for a long time, but we also have some new... Uh, players and so i believe that they can benefit greatly by getting a heads up on these contests of elements so this one's going to be the last color which is purple i think they're going to continue with these contests of elements so the next one will probably be yellow but for now it's purple and that's going to be may 22 through may 25 so i don't have such purples as Aramis. There, there's a lot of really good purples I don't have yet, but I do have a lot of purples. So I will, uh, I will show you what I've done with my roster and how I put teams together, just to kind of give you a uh, food for thought, just to give you a little idea of uh, how I do it. So for stages one and two, so I can only use these. Two times. I do have uh, Gilra, Aquila, Altep, Tabertus, and Balthasar. These are some uh, pretty weak heroes. Uh, one four star, two four stars, and the rest are three stars. But I don't foresee an issue with these first two stages. I don't have a healer here. But I really don't foresee a big issue with these because stages one and two are easy. Especially number one is super easy. You just need hitters. And so these are the these are the heroes that I have put together from my roster for stages one and two. For three and four, I have a defensive down in Treville. I have Lubu, Domitia. I just started leveling up Grimble from the Faded Summons. He's not good enough to be in Stage 3 to 4. He would probably be in Stage 1 to 2. But I am actively leveling him up right now. And this is where I think he'll end up uh, by the time the Contest of Elements Purple rolls around. And I do have a healer now here. At 3 to 4, I do have a healer. And that is Costume Sabina. Stages 5 and 6. I have two Treevilles uh, maxed out. So this is my other Treeville. Uh, Kill Hair, Proteus, Cyprion, and Regard. I do understand that these right here don't provide much offense, but I'm hoping that these two are going to provide uh, enough. And then maybe with some healing with regard that I think I may be able to get away with this. And Grimble may come all the way up to stages five and six, but for now he's not. And as the days go by, if I feel like I need another hitter in here, then I might uh, switch away maybe Cyprion and maybe put a, a hitter here. And that's why I think maybe Grimble may end up coming all the way up to five, stages 5 and 6. But we'll see. I will uh, adjust accordingly. Stages 7 to 8. I have maxed out Sergey. Nyx, Diochan, Sartana, and Costume Jabberwock. And so with Diochan, we have a healer and some minions to herself and to nearby allies. And then we got a couple snipers there. Elemental defensive down and Nyx on uh, stage uh, on charge two and three. She gives uh, defensive down. 
which will stack with Sergey's elemental defensive down. So that should give my two hitters here a really good opportunity. So that's who I have here, stages seven and eight. And for the last two stages, stages nine and 10, I've put together a costume Guardian Panther, Luhai, Holda, Ludwig, and Viscaro. Now, Viscaro normally wouldn't be in my top team because he is slow. But with this team here, with Ludwig, who gives mana to the nearby, then I'm thinking Ludwig can help charge Holda. Holda's minions will heal, provide defense. And they also provide mana, so they'll be able to kind of help Ludwig and Viscaro and the others kind of come up with mana. So I think in the end, this will be a uh, formidable team. And Viscaro, if you can mana Viscaro up, you can just throw fiends because the last two stages are really, really hard. You can just throw fiends at the enemies by charging Viscaro, throw the fiends at them. You can... Charge Viscaro again right away without moving anything. And that'll throw another set of fiends. Charge of Viscaro again with one of those large mana. And then he'll throw those fiends out again. So I really do think that uh, Viscaro is uh, excellent for events. So even though he's not that good at war, except against minions, he's actually, actually excellent in events because you can just keep throwing those minions at people at will as, as long as you just have those uh large mana pots all right so that's um that's how i put these teams together i try to put uh, whenever possible uh, elemental defensive down and then a regular defensive down and then this car is going to be my hitter but luhai and costume guardian panther both of them are also considered hitters even though they're also elemental and defensive down. And those two stack up. So those two are going in with uh, the mana from Holda and the fiends from Viscaro. I think it's it, I think it'll be good enough. All right. Well, put a comment comment in there if you have any questions or any comments. Uh, you can also let me know uh, what team you have there for this the stages nine and ten. And um, and please give us a like. Please subscribe. That helps me out a lot. I'm trying to reach uh, 1,000 subscribers for this channel. And I will see you next time here at Wolf Dog Empire.